Good morning all. Today's topic is bilinear transformation. The transformation W equal to A Z plus B divided by C Z plus D where A, B, C, D are the complex constant such that this A, D minus B, C not equal to 0 is called bilinear transformation. Another name for a bilinear transformation is linear fractional or Mobius transformation. If this A, D minus B, C equal to 0, every point of z plane become a critical point of the bilinear transformation the formula it is used as a cross ratio property of bilinear transformation if w1 w2 w3 are the images of z1 z2 z3 respectively under a bilinear transformation then we can write w minus w1 into w2 minus w3 divided by w1 minus w2 and w3 minus w equal to z minus z1 into z2 minus z3 divided by z1 minus z2 into z3 minus z. So easily you can remember your formula w minus 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3 minus w. The same concept it's for z also. One example, this is why uh, MCQ question. Find the invariant point of the transformation w equal to 2z plus 6 divided by z plus 7. So, invariant point is nothing but how we have to calculate invariant points. W should be replaced by Z. Instead of W, remove W and write it as Z. So, every equation it will be in terms of Z. Solve that equation, you get the point. That point is called invariant point. Check here. Z equal to 2Z plus 6 divided by Z plus 7 equal to Z square plus 7. Z equal to 2Z plus 6. So, simplify this, z is nothing but minus 6, 1. So, the invariant points are minus 6 and 1. So, bilinear transformation. When you come with a bilinear transformation, only it is a two concept only. The question can be asked with respect to normal question. And second case, any parameter, any one value, it may be infinity. For example, in z2 infinity, in w, yeah, one of the value, it may be infinity. So, infinity happens means what you have to do, in what we have to change in the format and we proceed on. If without infinity, what you have to do? Only two cases the question can be. Only the number they can change in this question. So, what is the formula? W minus W1 into W2 minus W3 divided by W1 minus W2 and into W3 minus W. So, same concept, write it for Z. Substitute all the data, okay, cross multiply it, simplify, arrange the term and simplify it, make your answer in W equal to. It may be in terms of Z, okay. So, like that you have to bring the answer. Only that we are going to do. We can use any rule, CD rule, we can use it. If you, if you are very known, well known with the rules means you can apply it. Okay. So, I am going to do normal procedure only, cross multiply it, substitute all the data. So, W1 is given to be I and W21. So, everything when I substitute, so I will write it here, W minus I, this 1 minus 0. So, 1 only divided by denominator. So, I minus 1, I minus 1 into minus w because w3 is 0 so minus w equal to here only z so z into 1 so here it is nothing but so z2 is minus i and z3 is minus 1 so minus minus plus so it can be written as 1 minus i divided by denominated term so i as it is minus minus plus so in this minus 1 minus z so now cross multiply it simplify it so w minus i into i into minus okay so this i also i will multiply and write it before that it's nothing but i minus i z equal to z this I will multiply one of the value I will multiply z minus z i into this uh, minus w also I will multiply it minus w i plus w. We completed simplify this. Extend it and simplify it. First expand everything. So when I expand it minus w i And next minus i squared, so minus w i z plus i squared 
plus i squared z equal to right hand side same we expand it so minus z w i plus z w plus z i squared w minus z i w now cancel whichever term it's the same variable that you can cancel it or first arrange the terms minus w i i will have it minus w i z the same minus i w z comes to this right side minus z plus w i this both get cancelled so this i squared is minus 1 minus 1 i squared is again minus 1 so minus z equal to in this any term it's get cancelled yes this both because i squared is minus 1 z w and minus w get cancelled this already went to that side so I will have only one term minus z i w. Now simplify it minus w i minus 1 minus z plus z i w equal to 0. So now whatever the term take it commonly out w I will take it out. So w means minus i plus i z equal to 1 plus z because this both goes to the right hand side. So now I will take uh, i outside so w i taken outside means z minus 1 i can write equal to 1 plus z so number w equal to i have to write so w equal to means 1 plus z divided by i into z minus 1 okay i i have to remove so what i'm going to do i remove means i multiply and divide i squared is minus 1 so w equal to i into 1 plus z into minus of z minus 1 so now a minus symbol also i will remove on right so it's nothing but w equal to my i into 1 plus z divided by 1 minus z is my final answer you have to write w equal to in terms of z answer okay so complete it Okay, this is the way we have to do every problem we have to write it as w in terms of in terms of z you have to bring it i did not do any i did not apply any rule at all only cross multiply it and simplify it okay so second method how we have to do means any one parameter it may be a z2 or some w2 or w3 okay if it is infinity okay the corresponding infinity what you have to do the corresponding formula only you have to take it outside in the formula you have to take the corresponding variable outside because infinity cannot be applied directly what you have to take you have to take the corresponding variable outside then only apply one by the corresponding one by z2 then apply infinity so that case only you have to do in the next video okay thank you